Hi folks, Tracy Sheen, The Digital Guide here, back with daily digital tip number 113. We're talking about TikTok today. So this social media platform has just blown up in the last wee while. There's now over 2 billion downloads to devices globally. And while they're not releasing the data in Australia, we certainly know that it has become a very popular medium, particularly for those kind of under about 20. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of us during COVID at some time of another have seen the TikTok dances and things that came out. So what I want to talk about today is there's a bit of a furor going around about TikTok being banned in Australia. And I just want to share a little bit of information about that. So TikTok itself is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance, ByteDance, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So ByteDance has been around for a while. It's a it's an extremely large tech business, but it is Chinese. Now, the big fear, concern is that data is being mined and sent back to the Chinese government or the Communist Party. When they've done some data mining, when the experts have kind of been looking at TikTok, there is, it seems to be, a rather large number of or pieces of data that is being sent back somewhere. Now, of course, they're not telling us where or why, but the point is there is some kind of weird stuff going on with your data. Now, does that mean that you should go and download it or delete it from your phone? Well, look, I'll be honest, I've not downloaded it at all. Um, obviously, I'm aware of the platform and I know some people that have made some really good inroads in building a community on TikTok. India, interestingly, has just banned it. So there is precedence that it could happen. And ByteDance have just released a media release to the Australian media saying that it's kind of been caught up in this political football. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background between Australia and China right now. So I'll link to that so you can have a bit of a read. There's a great article on The Guardian as well that I'll link to so you can have a look at. So bottom line is this. If you're going to play in any social media platform, and let's not forget that, you know, Facebook have had more than their fair share of... Um, issues when it comes to data breaches, just be aware that your data is going somewhere. You know, you, this is a free platform. So what are you giving up to be able to play on the platform? Be mindful of who you're connected with, because often the data is being scraped of your friends and connections as well. So Cambridge Analytica, when it came to Facebook, was not just the data of the people whose phones it scraped, but it was also the connections of those people as well. So, you know, Google, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, it doesn't matter. The point is, know what's happening with your data and be okay with the trade-off to be able to access these platforms. If you're not okay with it, delete TikTok. Do I think it's going to get banned in Australia? I kind of do, actually. I think it's probably, a, you know, a few months away yet, but I think we'll probably get to the point where unless they can, unless ByteDance can give, you know, firm um, information as to where, why, what and how is happening with that data, I do think we'll reach a, a stage with this whole kind of uh, tension around trade and what's going on with China at the moment. I think it will get caught up. But let's wait and see. For now, America's being very cautious with it. There's a lot of articles out to beware. Um, and I think you, me, all of us need to be mindful of our privacy and our security of our data just a little bit more. So that's it for TikTok. That's what the furor is all about. If you have TikTok, if your kids have TikTok, at least you know, make some time, go and have a read of the T's and C's or have a read of the couple articles that I post on this and then make an informed decision for yourself. But that's it. Do I think TikTok's going to be deleted? Probably. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.